<laughs> it's been nearly one year since I posted my Master Duel is Terrible video. It's close to 9,000 views. You know what that means. New year, new Master Boo Boo Stain video, but it's still, as one of my subscribers says, a toilet water game. They didn't say toilet water game, they just said toilet water, but you get my point. Let's dive on into it, shall we? This is gonna be so good. Try to relax your anus, your shoulders. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the softest ultra ball and the most, Avery Yellow R32 here and destroy. I want you to throw that ultra ball out of that subscribe button and smash the boo-boo stain on out of it so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. If you subscribe to me because you saw that Master Duel is Terrible video almost a year ago now at this point, God bless you. I'm very appreciative to each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel. So be sure to hit that bell and like button and all that too. I really do appreciate it. Why am I talking about Master Boo Boo Stain? Well, we're talking about it because even a fucking year later, this game sucks ass. And I love it because every single day is a day closer that it is dog shit and that it gets shut down and that I get to just drop my pants and drop a big old dookie stain on it. We already talked about Lucas Peterson's article on TCG Player. Guess what? Ever since I talked about his article, talking about how Master Shits is good and how it actually it's just garbage, he has not written about Master Shits since so that that's hilarious to me i don't know if it's because of my video or what but i just think that that's hilarious uh robbie cole is uh unfortunately clickbaiting the shit out of his videos talking about master shits uh oh for all y'all that are new i refuse to call master duel master shits until it's a good game which say it along with me class it never fucking will be and that's just the God to honest truth. So you got a lot of people clickbaiting on YouTube. Uh, MCO40, I'm sorry, but you've been doing that a lot. You say, this is a big problem for Yu-Gi-Oh! And you get a picture of Theory on. I click on the video. I see you're talking about Master Shits. I instantly dislike your video and I click off and I go watch something else. Like, I don't know, something on, I don't know, X videos or something. Like, just, I'm going to go do something better with my time. I'm going to go do my taxes. I'd rather take a nap. I'd rather do anything else than hear about this dog water game. Like, it, it's so crap even a year later. So I wanted to go ahead and take a look at the ban list that goes into effect on January 10th, just to show you how far we've come since all that baby back bullshit started back a year ago. So this new ban list goes into effect on January 10th. They newly limited, they didn't even ban, they limited Block Dragon and Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom, two cards that are banned in the TCG, but <laughs> there's no match mode. Oh, excuse me. There is a match mode, uh, but you don't get anything for it. You didn't, you don't get any chaos emerald gems. Woo. That you can go spend in the shop and get your max C's that don't need to be in the game. <laughs> it's so garbage. Why would people want to play a game with max cock and like just play one V one. And if your opponent opens the max C you lose. Flunder isn't even playable because they don't even have the barrier statue anymore. Like, that's why they were a tier zero deck in Master Shits because, like, they could just go first, drop the statue on you, and give you a middle finger and tell you to go, and you can't do anything. Like, if, if you're playing something like Remaju in that game going second, like, okay, cool, you're going to win because you're just playing a rogue deck that no one else is, like, doing anything with. Uh, so, semi limited, they put Alubar to two because, you know, if you go first, you open up one of your three Alubars, you instantly win the ball game. Or Orphus Scorpio, because people got tired of people taking 20-minute turns. Uh, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, because why not, I guess. Kagari, because people like bitching about Sky Striker. I know I do, but at least you don't have Mystic Mind in that game. Card of Demise to two, I guess. Uh, Divine Wind of Mist Valley, because it still can FTK in 2023. Pot of Duality, because I guess it takes too long to resolve in the game. Spellbook of Judgment, which... Okay, whatever. And then no longer limited. ABC Dragon Buster and Windup Carriers and Mighty. Here's the other thing with this dog water of a game. Why is it that things are no longer on the ban list in this game that are still banned in the TCG? Like, real talk, why? Like, Zen Mighty could have been unbanned in the TCG like for 10 years now and it wouldn't do anything and it's still banned like if they're worried about people hand looping with wind ups which i think wind up hunter's already banned in master shits you literally just have to make wind up hunter a hard once per turn or just ban it and then put zen mighty at three even then i don't think the hand loop is going to happen as much because we have so many more hand traps now like even back actually even back when wind ups were a thing like i think it was after the hand loop when they were just an otk deck if the opponent hits you with a max C and you were playing wind up OTK with like Shockmaster and stuff, 
if you weren't able to OTK, then you just had to pass your turn because the opponent was going to have so many cards drawn off the max C because like you would just special summon for days and they would just like draw through half their deck. So I don't understand why Zemighty isn't even unbanned here in the TCG. Maybe it will be, but besides the point, this is the new ban list that goes into effect on January 10th. And I just think it's hilarious that like they're putting all of this random crap to two and to one and Dragon Buster and Zemighty to three, I guess. Like, if you're not playing a deck that's good at going first, you're probably losing the ball game anyway. Because it's only best of one. You don't get anything for playing a fucking match, which still blows my mind. And it's uh, th that's the whole big thing about this, too, that I really want to touch on before I start losing my ass over this. Is that it's been damn near a year since I posted that video and it blew up. And people are still talking about the game. They're still posting clickbait videos about it. Team Sam is just, oh, he's gushing all over the game. Like just, oh my god, do be sure to like that video. Oh, and like just, oh, and like he's he's Yu-Gi-Oh-ing all over the place, if you know what I mean. Like it's it's hot garbage. Robbie Coles jumped on that bandwagon because you know, he's got to make content somehow because we're in a tier zero format and the game is just dead. Like, I get that. Like, until we get a new balance in the IRL game, it's just dead. But at the same time, like, why are you wasting your time on this game when it just does not matter? I'm sorry about the shadow. My damn computer turned off because it sucks. There we go. <laughs> um, but it's like, why are you wasting your time talking about this game when you know it's dog shit? There is nothing good about this game even a year later. And people are still talking about this. Like, it's the second coming of Yugi Moto and God. Like... <laughs> It's, it's, it's so hilarious to me. And I told my dad, this, this is what was really funny. My dad, you know, he was watching some gameplay of the game. He's like, oh, the graphics are so cool. Da, 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 which I then proceeded to tell him it's just Hearthstone with the Yu-Gi-Oh skin, but okay. And so he's like, you know what? I'm going to download and play it. So he starts downloading, he starts playing it. And he's like, yeah, the, these decks that you get starting off suck. I'm like, yeah, they do. You get Monarchs and then you got to grind for four to five hours to get one of the best decks of the format. He's like, oh, well, uh. Can I play Mystic Mind? I'm like, no, it's banned. He's like, oh, yeah, of course it is. And he's like, yeah, I'm just going to have to spend time playing against the AI because these starting decks suck. And, like, especially now with all the new cards that they have injected into the game, do you think your Monarch starter deck that you get, like, at the start of, like, when you first start playing the game is going to be able to keep up? No! Like, you're going to have to, like, beat Billy Goat 57, like, 100 times to, like, actually be able to do something. And Johnny No Thumbs at least 20 times. And then before then, by that point, you're just going to be in, like, the gold and the platinum ranks or whatever hell the highest ranks are. And then you're going to start going against Branded. You're going to start going against Therions once they put that in the game. And then once they put tier element and sprite in the game, which I wouldn't be surprised if they just never did because of how toxic those decks are right now, especially tier, that people are going to be so tired of the game. And that's what blows my mind. Like if you're watching this video still, which, you know, watch until the end before you comment. That's all I ask. I really do appreciate you watching uh, to, to get the full idea of the video. But like if you're still playing this game, whether it's casually or competitively, you do realize it's only still going to get worse, right? Like, what are you going to do when tier element at full power gets put into this game? What are you going to do when Sprite at full power with Rodent Toten gets put into this game? And like people are already bitching and complaining about how long turns take, which welcome to modern Yu-Gi-Oh! As I've said a million times in the comment section of my Master Duel is Terrible video, like tier element at full power, trying to resolve chains after chain after chain. People were bitching about Flunder. Can you imagine how much they're going to be bitching about tier? Like, oh my God, you're not going to hear the end of it, bro. And, you know, maybe it's just because of the fact that, like, it's a fun casual game for casuals. Like, I, I don't know, but, like, I'm, I'm looking at this ban list here if my computer would quit being a piece of shit. And, like, I don't see any redeeming factors even a year later with this game. Like, I don't understand why they are still updating this game. I don't understand how it still has a player base. I don't understand why people even continue to still spend their money on this game when there's nothing redeeming about it. Like, I would never waste any money on this game. I would never take the time to deconstruct my extra cards and go and get new shit. Woo! And it's like, it's it's so comedic to me. Like, I, I'm, I'm kind of raging right now, but it's just the point that it's so comedic. I guess I'm not really raging. I'm just kind of more flying off the handle because I just think that crapping on this game is the best pastime in the world. And it's also funny to see people like get all pissed off about it when it's like, I've had people say to me, well, it's because you're a metal player and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, that doesn't mean I can't talk about a pile of toilet water. Like literally, like uh, 
Call of Duty World, or not World War II, Modern Warfare 2 that recently came out. The game's a bucket of crap. It's hot dog water. Like, it, it, it sucks. I would rather play that than this trash. All this game did for the five minutes that it was on my PlayStation 5 was take up space. And I was so happy that I took that crap off and started playing stuff like Persona 5 Royal that I recently platinumed and like Axiom Verge 2, which is okay. But like, there are so many better things I could be doing with my time. I could be playing my Steam Deck trying to put windows on it again. I could go for a walk. I could go get my glasses clean. I could go do my taxes. I could go ride my longboard. That's right on over here. <laughs> like, there's so many better things that you could be doing with your time than playing this dog crap. And if you do still play it, please explain to me why. Because this game is still garbage a year later, and that's hilarious to me that they have not fixed any of the issues. They added a match mode that you don't get shit out of. They've updated the balance that's still crap because it's best of one. And they don't have tag duels. They don't have uh, retro formats like Go and Edison. They're doing nothing that, like, helps the casual and competitive player base. They're focusing on, like... The 2% of casual players are like, oh, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, I'll play it. Like, okay, whatever. Lord have mercy. And I think, too, they've even said that they're going to be coming out with new Yu-Gi-Oh games. Unless it's a world championship game, I'm not going to buy it, and I'm just going to keep on crapping on it. So, nearly one year since I made my video, Master Duel, excuse me, Master Shits is still shitty. And thanks to my subscriber who used the term toilet water. I'm going to start using that. This game is still toilet water. It's a bucket of crap. And Godspeed to you if you're wasting your money on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.